right, we're checking out the only game where bringing science into GTA brings pain into my life. It's GTA. We wanted to do a couple different science experiments in GTA, and so it's time for a brand new challenge. We wanted to find out what kind of downward ramp gets you from point A to point B the fastest, but just testing that alone would of course be boring, so we had to stuff it filled with obstacles and other traps. Each ramp gets steeper and riddled with more pain in order to find out which one truly gets you to the bottom the fastest. Because it's not GTA without more explosions, another science experiment will test just how fast you have to go in order to outrun a rocket. But just outrunning the rocket would be too plain, so I have to stop someone from being blown up by blowing up myself. All this will probably make me understand that learning is hard and blowing up is easy. Let's do this. Which ramp is the fastest? 12 seconds to get down to the bottom. The length of each ramp is actually the same. However, the difference is, is they have different slopes to get down to the end area. They go straight, steeper, steeper, and then basically sheer wall. <laughs> and so first, let us begin with the least steep ramp. Uh, oh, do I have to get inside of the script circle? <laughs> is this, is this like some kind of anti-cheat method so I can't just like jump from one ramp onto the next or something? All right, let's give it a shot. So do I need to, oh, oh, you just get teleported straight into the vehicle. Oh, the vehicle's rolling. Oh, I don't have any engine. So this is going to be a true, oh my God, the timing. I was gonna say, this is gonna be a true understanding of just from the gradient, how fast you end up going to get to the bottom. All right, so 10 miles an hour. In my head, you would think that the most kind of like downward, you know, sheer wall would allow you to go the fastest. So epic dodge right there, 70 miles an hour, 75 miles an hour, 83 miles an hour, and we were nowhere near getting to the bottom. Can I just like jump over? <laughs> you can. Okay, I'm guessing they programmed it so you have to get in here with a car, like a person does not trigger it. I wanted to try the green one next. There was an arrow that said, look up, and I figured to myself, it can't be that bad. It is raining whales and meteorites. And what's weird is, the speed is less on this one than the the straight kind of downward ramp. I'm gonna try this one more time just to make sure I didn't like miss something. Look like we got up to about 79 miles an hour. What if I get hit by a rocket? Is that gonna increase my speed or what? Yeah, 79, 79. That's the fastest this car goes on this type of ramp. So it's slower than the, oh my God. <laughs> So it's slower than the other ramp. I love that there's just a random twitching whale in the background. I wanted to be real thorough and I love whales. Out of the way, whale. Better not slow me down. Totally slowed me down. Okay, now I'm not even gonna get up to 70 miles an hour. I could barely get up to 60 miles an hour. Ugh. There is a person. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. I got hit by a meteorite. There we go. 94 miles an hour. <laughs> 97. I know that doesn't really mathematically test the truth of the speed, but I just had to see if it was possible because it was so stupid. Okay, now we're on to blue, which has all these targets and I have no idea what they're supposed to do. I don't know if you're supposed to aim for them or what, but we're getting real sheer now. What's weird is the other steep wall got us less speed than the less steep. What? Uh, I'm shooting the, <laughs> I'm shooting the target. What is it? Whoa. Oh, you have to shoot the balls. Okay. Uh, wouldn't have expected. Whoa, wouldn't have expected that. Ah, yes, it's not GTA unless someone gets shot in the balls. Now, we have. <sighs> Man, I was gonna say I gotta kind of glitch the game a little bit to shoot in the jeep in third person because it's not normally possible. Okay, this is all about aim. Aim. Oh yeah, precision. Oh God. Ouch! This is less about trying to figure out the speed and more about, is this even possible? This is why I don't use first person, by the way. Freaking headliner doesn't let me see anything. I hate to say this, but I kind of need bigger balls. I'm guessing where I'm supposed to be shooting. Yeah, first person's not gonna work. Okay, this is a smooth run. And then glitch it over in a third. Nice. Ah, this board has really big balls and they're getting in my way a lot. Well, I didn't glitch it good enough, so we're kind of stuck in... Oh, first person, whoa, hey, okay. What? I got saved, never mind. I love that the balls were there and kind of made it look like they saved my life only to take it away at the last minute. Not gonna lie, your ramp challenge is unbelievably difficult. God, yeah, there we go. No, whoa. Ah! Science is painful. Ooh. 
Well, that ain't good. Ow. Huh. I landed on the other challenge. I guess there is no invisible walls there. Okay. Nice and smooth. Not the sticky bomb. That is... Oh, I was gonna say, that's not gonna help me. Part of it's the aim, and part of it is trying to keep the gun into third person and not go into the first person. How come science always has to involve someone getting shot? There we go. No. And that first ball just keeps getting in the way of the tar- <sighs> You really couldn't have programmed in a more legitimate way to test the speeds? What happened there? I got ejected out of- Wow. Okay, I have no idea what happened, but I got thrown way up into the sky. Okay, somewhere right around there. Yeah, okay, that's good. Second, third, oh, almost got it. Man, I got ejected from the car again. Oh, look, it's one of the, bow. One of the targets landed on my body. I love that all this does is make unreasonably violent flapjacks. They're like pancakes with a taste for human blood. Okay, at this point, it's, it's now a matter of of personal honor. I don't care what it takes. Oh, here we go. Almost! Okay, I got all the balls shot. I just need to get lucky with not getting pancaked. So I realized something. There is no way this can make it. Notice the barrier comes up and we're not even close. It's actually slower than the rest of them. So does that mean that the sheer wall has to be the one to do it? I have no idea how this is gonna work because I feel like I'm going back in time. Oh, okay. Okay, this is substantially faster. A hundred miles an hour. The problem is I have to burst through these walls somehow. Oh, a gun's not gonna do it. Oh my God. Did, did one of the orbital strikes just hit the car like by total random happenstance? All right, here's the plan. Oh my God, I almost just got decimated by a random falling meteorite. We have to use sticky bombs. 101, 95, okay. So I need to throw the sticky bombs perfectly, and I think that this is the ramp that'll do it. So it looks like ramps are all or nothing. You either want like a perfect normal downward slope or just a total sheer wall. Everything in between is just terrible in GTA. Okay, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, throw. Perfect, 101. Oh yeah, oh my God, I lost a tire. Okay. So this is gonna require a literal perfect run. Total perfect, even though we're going 101. I also have to mention something. My hood landed in a really weird position. <laughs> okay, whales are a fallen. Meteors are a cratering the ground. And, oh, mm -hmm. yes, okay, here we go. Perfect and, oh, oh my God. That was like a perfect run. I need to shave off like, in a millionth of a second somehow. Okay, this needs to be even more perfect. 102, somehow I got 102. I'm trying to see if I throw at the go- <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that getting hit by the rocket didn't propel me over the wall. Okay, kind of aim low. There we go. Well, I aim high, but you try and blow it up low. Man, talk about precision. Sometimes you get to 101 and sometimes you get to 102. Like right there, we only got to 101 for some reason. And so it's not gonna make it. Maybe I have to like head bang my character. Did I just, did I just get hit by a whale? Ah! The other problem is that I also have to get lucky with the rest of the, oh my God, the Floridian, you know, uh, death weather trying not to murder me. Don't mind me just vacationing over here in Australia. That meteorite was in the way. I just have to make this perfect. There we go. Oh, oh that meteorite just got, no! Got my sticky bombs out. We're rolling, oh my God. Michael Bay is getting kind of close. Okay. Yeah! The steepest sheer wall is definitely the fastest to get you from point A to point B in a downward ramp. Now it's time to outrun a missile. What speed does a rocket travel in GTA? What kind of car selection save a pet? Would I have to stop someone from getting murdered by a rocket? But then I die, I don't like that. Hey. All right, I had to check. I mean, I guess I'll try the normal Jeep first. Did you put like turbos in these or how does this work? Okay, so the, the rocket goes 60. Uh, 70. I get the feeling I'm not going to keep up with that rocket. 90, 95. Okay, we are not anywhere close to going as fast as a rocket. If you're aiming at a ped, that ped is dead. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's no way he survived. Uh, There's a ramp. What happened over here? What sort of weird, like, oh, okay. So the platform is supposed to be on this side. Got it. That's how you get to the end. I mean, I need to know. Why is this even here? Did you hop? Whoa! <laughs> okay, so you hop this thing up on PCP. Woo. I love how the only way to get the Sherp to do anything is to give it a ton of drugs. 309. Huh. That's a little bit faster than the rocket. So the rocket's moving like right around 300. All right, okay, so he, oh my God. <laughs> so all these vehicles are very, very jacked up. Are you ready? Oh my God. Oh my God. 330, 340, 360. <laughs> All right, we need a big target to get in the way. It looks like he maxed the like total speeds at different levels. So like this one goes 370 about. Oh, sorry. I was paying attention to the rocket and not where I was going. I'm trying to keep exactly up with the rocket just to see like what the number value is. I think it's right around, whoa. It's right around somewhere between, oh my God, <laughs> my car. It's somewhere between like 270 and 300. The crazy thing is, is you can't, you actually do need to go at the exact same speed as the rocket. Because if I go too fast, then I overshoot it. Okay, this is a way harder challenge than I originally anticipated. God, I'm going so fast. All right, I'm gonna try and keep it right around like, like, 280 or something once I get past it. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, that was the closest one yet. This is such a ridiculous scene. It's like something from the Expendable 7 or whatever one we're on right now. So, 250, all right, it went past me. Oh, check it out. Ah! Oh! So what's crazy is I have to hit the rocket in midair. I, I literally have to intersect the rocket. So I'm not actually outrunning the rocket. I basically want to go the exact speed as the rocket. Okay, that was super close. I never thought I would put my body in front of a rocket so many times in my life. My favorite breakfast cereal is high explosivos. And whoop, too fast. Okay, and then back it off. Uh, how about... Man, I'm getting a little closer each time. It's funny, because effectively all I'm doing is getting slightly closer to my own death. <laughs> like, each, each attempt at this. And... Oh, I was way... I was way off. Come on, just shove it in there. Oh, come on, I felt like I touched the rocket. I literally need to get close enough to high-five this rocket. Uh, uh, the power of Michael Bay compels you. Slow. Man. Oh, yeah, this this looks good. This looks good. Oh, it went just barely over my hood. I tell you what, I got the line on this, though. Like, I am perfectly in line with the rocket. How come science always seems to get people murdered? Like, very, very violently. Oh, my God, this is insane. Once I finally get this, I'm going to end up blowing out my microphone. Come on, baby. The good part is, is I can put the, the gun reticle, like, where I need to go. So I can line it up great. It's just the speed. All right, I'm gonna try this. Okay, what's the speed like on this? I feel like I'm having to hit the brakes way too much in the other car. Ooh. Okay, that was a good first try in this one. I definitely feel like I have more speed control in this vehicle. Slow. I guess I really shouldn't talk about pain that much. That one pet has been hit by a rocket in the face like 60 times so far. Slow it down, jump. Nope, too much. Okay, here's the plan. I've been trying to back like 390. Okay, there we go, 400 down to 220. Oh my God! I did it! <laughs> oh my God! Oh, oh, don't you dare, don't you dare! Oh my god, I almost slid off the challenge area! But I stopped the rocket! Oh my god, you have no idea how many times it took! 
Why are you wobbling? Don't you wobble to the side. Don't you screw this up for me. I need you to stay straight because that means that we have a winner. Yeah. But I ate a rocket and it was delicious. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy. Much love.